The holiday weekend coming to an end and millions of Americans are traveling back home. Let's take a live look now out of New Jersey. Stretching into New York, officials are expecting today to be the busiest day of the Thanksgiving travel season. Numbers are expected to reach pre-pandemic levels prior to this year's holiday. TSA is expected to screen more than 20 million passengers nationwide throughout peak Thanksgiving travel time. Yesterday, the agency screened more than 2.2 million travelers. Here to talk about this busy travel night is Emily Kaufman, also known as the Travel Mom. Thanks for joining us tonight. I know it's a busy day for you. It's been a really busy day <laughs> for me, and I got to say, I'm very happy to be talking to you from my home because it's a bit of a hot mess out there. I can only imagine. All right, I want to first talk to you about the hard news, right? The COVID variant, it came just in time for this holiday. How will this impact travel? And given that it's changing and developing all the time and so quickly, will we know which countries, how will we know which countries are in, imposing restrictions? Well, as you said, it's changing and it's a new topic and we really don't know all that much about it just yet. What we do know is that each country controls the admissions into them by visitors. So if you're planning to travel internationally, go to the website of the country that you're planning to visit. It's quite simple. If you just Google search, let's say um, Bahamas, Visitor and Convention Center. You'll get their website, which will give you all the instructions with what you need to do in order to visit the country. Many places require a travel health visa. Some are requiring fully vaccinated. Others make you have a negative COVID test. So each individual country controls theirs. And keep in mind, to return back to the United States, the CDC requires a negative COVID test. So you've got to take that before you board your flight back home. Should we be rethinking international travel in general, knowing what we know now? We remember uh, the beginning of the pandemic, so many people lost money, uh, reservations, miles when the pandemic hit, lockdowns went into place. Could this happen again? Or do you think this time will be different? Well, I think that we've learned from uh, the mistakes before and the travel industry has adjusted a lot of their rules and requirements where you can change your trips without a change fee. You can have cancellations. Some uh, travel insurance companies are now carrying insurance. Should somebody in your party test positive, the entire trip will be protected. So as I said earlier, it's fluid and it's in motion and we've got to monitor it. But what I always recommend is you read that fine print when you're making a purchase so you don't get yourself stuck in a bad situation. Good advice. Um, I want to talk to you about buying travel and buying tickets. Uh, we all know about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. There's also a travel deal Tuesday. This was actually news to me. What is it? And is it a day we should be marking on our calendars? Well, Travel Tuesday, Travel Deal Tuesday is this Tuesday, November 30th. And according to Hopper, which is a travel booking app, they are going to have more deals than Black Friday and Cyber Monday combined. And they've selected destinations that are bucket list destinations that are going to give you automatic discounts. And there are all kinds of airlines that are offering special deals and discounts on this day as well. So if you download the Hopper app, on Tuesday, November 30th, you'll be able to see all of these deals. They come into you proactively. So this is a great time if you're thinking about traveling next year to take a look and see what kind of deals you can find. And you're known as the travel mom. You're a travel expert. You're also an expert mom. So I want to ask you about tips for traveling with kids because we've all seen those scenes at airports, traveling during the holidays in the middle of a pandemic. It's stressful anyway for adults, but with children, it's a whole different level. It is, you know, you've got to pack your patience and you've got to arm yourself with information. I was a preschool teacher before I was the travel mom. So people would ask me for these tips about traveling with your kids. You need to remember that children are creatures of habit and they follow sequence, order and routine. So that's how they know what's coming up next rather than looking at the clock. So stick to your routine, bring their snacks, bring a change of clothes, bring everything with you. You anticipate meeting for a 24 hour period. You mentioned I'm an expert. I have a website, the travelmom.com. And I also have social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Travel Mom, where I give trips away. And I answer every single individual question 
that comes into me. So I'm happy to help in any way I can. Okay, and really quickly before we go, I just want to get this in. Our producer is dying to know about packing tips. Our producer, Doug, he saw his sister roll the clothing in the suitcase, and he was fascinated by that. He's been asking for weeks. So give us a quick travel tip in terms of packing. Less is more. We don't really go through everything we need. I'm a Ziploc bag fan, summer rollers, summer Ziploc baggers, um, but keep it simple. We really don't use everything that we think we're going to need to bring with us. All right, Emily Kaufman, thank you. We appreciate having you tonight on this busy day. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.